The endoscope is carefully introduced into the esophagus and endoscopic inspection of the diverticulum follows. The endoscope is now removed and a conventional gastric tube is introduced via the patient's nose. A clear 4mm distancing cap is now also attached to the endoscope. With endoscopic visualization, the gastric tube is then positioned in the gastric antrum. It is used to distinguish between the esophageal lumen and the diverticular lumen. The endoscope is now positioned in front of the diverticular septum. The clutch cutter that is used here is a scissors-like instrument with an opening diameter of 3.5 mm. The instrument can be rotated up to 360 degrees by the assistant. The diverticular septum is now selectively grasped with the clutch cutter and the initial incision is carried out using an Airba VO 200D system. The settings used are forced coagulation 30 watts, Endo cut Q with an effect of 1, cutting duration 3, cutting interval 1. After the initial incision, the clutch cutter is positioned in the incision area and further transection of the diverticular septum is carried out. If cutting continues too far, the lumen opens up and a perforation into the mediastinum can be seen. It is therefore recommended that the intervention should be carried out using carbon dioxide. The perforation can be closed by clipping. The hemoclip is introduced via the working channel. Resolution clips are used in this case as they can be opened and closed several times before final placement. The cap should not be removed as it helps to stabilize and open the esophageal lumen. The perforation is completely closed with several clips in what is called the zip technique. The gastric tube is left in place and the examination is successfully completed.